Let's upgrade the Easy Flash Omega with new emulator types, the ability to open common file types, and even a new updated look from the original firmware. We'll be installing a custom theme called the Simple Theme. This will update the look and add in the additional file capabilities. For this, you'll need your Easy Flash cartridge, the SD card that you use for your cartridge, some form of SD card reader to add the files to your SD card, and your Game Boy. Now that we have all the physical pieces to update the flash cart, let's get into the software portions. First, let's get all the optional files for the Easy Flash, just in case you don't already have them. All links will be in the description. Here we have the simple theme, game images, the cheat library, and finally the official Easy Flash update as the theme update will not update the actual firmware of your cartridge. You can use the built-in unzipping feature in Windows to extract the files, or you can use an alternate software like 7-Zip or WinRAR. Now that you have all the files extracted to their respective folders, let's plug in the SD card and start preparing the files. First, let's drag in the cheat folder and the image folder. Let's also update the official firmware before we do the theme update. We need to first rename the update file to easykernel.bin if it isn't already named that and copy it to the root of your SD card. Now we have our images folder, cheat folder, and the update file. We can now eject the SD card and plug it back into our cartridge. From there, we can plug the cartridge into our console for the update. All we have to do is hold the R button while we boot the console. This will boot the Easy Flash into update mode. The update will automatically start and you should see a progress bar. Just let the update finish and it will automatically reboot into the cartridge's firmware. Now that we have our firmware updated, let's head back to the computer for one final time to add our custom theme. So back on your PC with the SD card plugged in, let's extract the simple archive. Inside, you'll find four folders and three files. There's a README text document, which I'm currently explaining in the video, two firmware files, and various folders. We need to copy the backup and the system folders to the root of our SD card. On our SD card, we need to select the images folder, the saver folder, the real-time saves folder, the cheat folder, and potentially the patch folder if you have it. All of those will need to be copied into the system folder that we just copied to the SD card. Once those are done moving, we then need to decide if we want a light mode or a dark mode for our cartridge. I personally will be using dark mode as I believe it looks better. Copy whichever update you want to the root of your SD card. We can now delete the old easykernel.bin file, and we'll need to rename the file that we copied from the simple folder to the same name as that file, easykernel.bin. From here, we can eject our SD card and repeat the process to update the flash cart one more time. Once the update is done, you should see your new theme load. This also means you now have the ability to open a larger variety of file types. The Easy Flash can now support Game Boy, ColecoVision, Game Gear, Neo Geo Pocket, NES, PC Engine, Wonderswan, and even more game types. Additionally, you can now also open some common media file types too, from JPEGs to MIDI sequences to WAV music. However, the playback is not great on WAV files. There was also a demo folder included with the simple download. That includes all the various file types that you can open if you want to copy it to your SD card and give them a try.
And just like that, you have an updated and improved EZ Flash Omega. If you want to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe and join our Discord down below. Also be sure to check out our wiki, that's also linked down below.